Welcome to Pavinars, webinars for the pavement community. Today we'll briefly talk about the manufacturing of asphalt emulsion. The manufacturing process begins with the storage of the raw products, and this includes asphalt binder, water, and any chemicals and emulsifiers that you may be using for the asphalt emulsion. All of these raw materials need to be transferred, and they're transferred through pipes using pumps, Meters monitor various important properties of the raw materials. You use valves to direct the material down the proper pipes. And static mixers and strainers allow for a high quality, well mixed material. And all of these raw materials are going to the asphalt emulsion mill, where the asphalt binder, the water, the chemical, and the emulsifiers are all combined together. And you produce an asphalt emulsion. The asphalt emulsion is then transferred to a storage tank and ready to be shipped. It's very interesting because all plants have this basic layout, so they're all similar in some ways, but then they are all also completely different and unique. In general, there are two different styles of asphalt emulsion plants. The first is a batch plant, and this is where you prepare a soap solution, which is the water the emulsifier and any chemicals all combined together to a predetermined amount. You have the soap solution run through the pipes at a specific temperature and a specific flow rate. You also have some asphalt binder flowing at a specific temperature and a specific flow rate. And those are joined together at the asphalt emulsion mill where the asphalt emulsion is produced. Sometimes pressure is applied at the asphalt emulsion mill, so you need to know the pressure at the mill through a pressure gauge, and the resulting asphalt emulsion needs to be at a certain temperature. Now the batch plant can be compared to a continuous plant, where you have water at a certain temperature and a certain flow flowing through a pipe, and emulsifiers and chemicals are added at specific temperatures and specific flow rates to that pipe, and everything is put through a static mixer. Therefore, the soap solution is produced in line and on demand. This is then added to asphalt binder at a certain temperature and flow rate and milled together to produce your asphalt emulsion. So a continuous plant does not have a set amount of soap solution produced. The soap solution is produced as you are milling your asphalt emulsion. If you're interested in learning more about asphalt emulsions, you can search Asphalt Emulsion UARC or click on the link below. And the University of Arkansas and the Asphalt Emulsion Manufacturing Association have developed four certificates, Introduction of, Application of, Manufacture of, and Quality of Asphalt Emulsion. Each of these certificates are on demand and online. You can take them anytime at any place. And upon completion, you'll receive 15 professional development hours in addition to over 100 pages of reference material. Finally, there are special government rates available.